Hello everyone and welcome to the R Token deployment course. In this tutorial course, I'm going to walk you through all the details regarding deploying your own R Token, and I'm going to also practically show you how to do it. In this first episode, I'm going to start with a primer on what exactly an R Token is. An R Token is essentially an IOU against various crypto assets. What that means is, if you take a look at this illustration on the screen right here, we have uh, an example of an R token, which is evenly backed by three other cryptocurrencies. In this case, three stablecoins, USDP, TrueUSD, and USDC, which each hold 33% in the basket. Now, what that means for an R token to be an IOU is essentially the following. At any point in time, anyone can take these stablecoins in this first case, and they can go to the reserve protocol smart contracts, lock them up in a smart contract and mint an R token against it. So at that point, they're no longer holding their stablecoins, they're now holding the R token. And these stablecoins are locked in the smart contract vault. What that also means is at any point in time, they can bring that R token back to that same smart contract vault, redeem the R token, and in return, they will get their uh, initial stable coins back. There are, there's another essential part that you should know about R tokens, and that is that an R token can also have an additional layer of over collateralization. This over collateralization is done with staked RSR tokens, and it basically serves as the first loss capital in the case of a default. And what that means is a default can happen. So in this case, this uh, R token is backed by three yield bearing R tokens that depend on the compound platform. So a default in this case could mean a couple of things. It could mean the compound platform being hacked. Uh, it could be the uh, a bug being exploited on compound or any other, any other reason like a DPEG causing these tokens to lose value. And so this staked RSR layer is there as first loss capital to make sure that the R token stays pegged, even if such a black swan event happens. Now, in the later videos of this course, I'm going to uh, dive deeper into what exactly that means, how exactly that RSR gets deployed. Uh, but it's essential. Uh, it's an essential feature of R tokens. And that's why I'm already mentioning it now. So this was a quick primer on R tokens. Uh, the next video, we're going to look into how to actually deploy your R.